Hi everyone! Welcome to the third Japanese stationery haul video, and I'll be showing you today what I got from Tokyo Hands, Kakimori, Ankora, and Itoya, including some bonus clips at the end of the haul. So let's begin! So at Tokyo Hands, I got the Kokyo glue stick, which is known for their square glue tip, and I got the orange one, which is the wrinkle free glue type. Then I got this Mizutama memo pad. Mizutama is one of my favorite illustrators from Japan, alongside with Eric Small Things. I just really love their designs. I got this sticker from Toki Hands and they just gave it to me for free and I just put it inside the memo pads packaging. I really love the retro vibe of the illustrations and colors and it comes with 25 sheets with 4 designs. And the back of each design is where you can write your notes or letters are either a grid, lined, or a blank sheet, and it comes with a sticker. The very first sheet is actually a sticker. It's really cute, and it's very much Mizutama vibe. These are the only items that I got from Tokyo Hands in Nagoya. Everything else are from Tokyo Hands in Shibuya. I just got two washi tapes and a mono stick eraser. I've been wanting to get this type of eraser. It's just really cool, really cute, very convenient, and I won't lose it easily. Then the two Worldcraft washi tapes that I got is a coffee one and a stationary one. I'm very excited for this. It's a glass pen set from Adiria Retro and Rio Rio collaboration. I wasn't really expecting it to be in store that day since it was just recently released and I was just casually walking inside Tokyo Hands when I saw it and I was just really excited and happy seeing it in store physically. It comes with a glass container which you can use to wash the pen a glass pen stand, an ink, and of course the glass pen. This is actually my favorite design from all the sets. By the way, the ink is more of a teal green color. This is the mini version of the glass container of the same pattern which I got from the gacha machine. It's just so cute. I created a notebook at Kakimori. I was initially thinking of getting a fountain pen ink, but I did not end up getting any. So I just got a custom made notebook as seen in my vlog. I chose this mustardy yellow with fabric material for the front cover and a sage green color with paper material for the back cover. Then I chose a brown letter closure with gold spiral color with a dot grid and grid papers, both white and cream. I just really love the whole experience in store of designing your own notebook and I'm just really happy of how it turned out.
I first found out about Ankora while I was searching for a sailor fountain pen store in Tokyo and saw my life mates here in YouTube and her Ankora custom sailor fountain pen and I'm just so happy to visit the store myself and design my own fountain pen. But before I show you the pen, I also got other things from the store like this pen cleaning cloth. The fountain pen and ink illustrations in the corner is just so cute. Then I got the Ancora Birdstone and Birth Flower ink series, the November Citrine and Cyclamen ink. It's not my birth month, but I just want this color. They kindly gave me this sailor booklet in English version. It has a little bit of sailor history, how nibs are made, the different pen lineups, inks. It's just a very nice, informative sailor pen guidebook. And finally, my custom made sailor pen. It actually comes with two cartridges. You can either choose black, blue, black, or blue. I just chose the blue black color. And it also comes with the usual Sailor Fountain Pen Guide. Here it is! I really love it! So I chose this clear cup top and nib section, a mustard yellow cup with taupe barrel, a white bottom cup and gold metal parts. The nib is an MF and I think all the nib is an MF with Ankora engraving on it. I actually thought I was already decided what color combinations I want but it's a totally different experience when you're actually there. It's just very hard to decide. But yeah, I really love how it turned out and it's a very special pen for sure. And the seals associates are very nice and helpful too. I didn't get a lot at Itoya, but I did get another fountain pen. But first, I got this bear-shaped craft puncher. It's so cute, I couldn't miss it. I love bear themed stationery so I knew I had to get it when I first saw it. Then I got another one of these, a stamp that you can use as a post stamp decoration. Look how cute it is! Then I got this Platinum Khaki Black Ink. And with this, you may already have an idea what pen I got. And here it is! I ask them if they can wrap it for me and they wrap it beautifully. It's really a joyful experience opening this up and I'm really excited for this. I have been wanting to get at least one fountain pen in Japan and I have been thinking about this pen for a while now and so I decided to get it.
Yes, I got the Platinum 3776 Century in shape of a heart fountain pen. I've actually seen this pen for a while now in the journaling and fountain pen community and I even asked my friend Paris of Frenchy in Focus here in YouTube how she's been liking this pen. It's a limited edition pen released last year and they only have 2,000 of these worldwide. I'm not yet sure how the mixable ink works but we'll eventually look into it. It's really pretty and I have been using this for the past month and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm just really happy I got this. And that's it for today's haul video. But keep on watching if you want to see how my custom sailor pen and kakimori notebook was made. Thank you for watching! Yeah,